Hi Sagittarius, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings, this is your What the Fuck reading for the 7th through to the 13th of September. No announcements this week Darlings, let's get straight into the reading and we're looking for what started the current situation, what started the What the Fuck. Do you know, he has been out in every fire signs reading this week every fire different positions but this air sign has been out in everybody's reading so we'll see what happens that's facing your fears and taking your power back then we're asking for your manifestation your wish fulfillment and why it could be fucked Can I have a manifestation card for Sagittarius, please? Thank you. Ooh. And can I have a movement card? Where the fuck does Sagittarius need to be this week? Thank you. And what can they do? What the fuck is out of their hands for Sagittarius? And then the reconnecting to your true self for Sagittarius, please. A reconnection card, thank you. And then what the fuck is happening next? Have an outcome for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. So, lovelies, you have got the king of a thames. Now, male or female, they are just a kingly energy. Commanding, demanding, know their stuff. This particular king of thames, he is an air sign. He or she, I should say, um, knows their stuff. Highly educated. Will not get into a shit show. Won't go there. Would rather cut it out, have done with it, walk away. That's how they deal with things. That's how they roll. They will not get into, he said, she said. They will not get into petty situations. They don't like it. This person is going to be a solicitor, a lawyer, an advocate, a doctor, a nurse, a social worker, a police officer, maybe a teacher or a lecturer. Somebody who knows their stuff. They know their shit. They know what they're talking about. It could be for some of you that you are going to turn to somebody for advice this week. Or you have turned to somebody for advice this week. And the advice didn't turn out exactly as you had anticipated. But I'm getting that that is an energy around you. It's not somebody you would pay to go to get this advice. This is somebody who is an energy that is around you. And they, I'm getting inadvertently, started your what the fuck by the advice that they gave you. So facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. Darling, so the, the fairy's asking you to step in the water. She knows you need healing. But what she's saying is, uh, as soon as I put this down, I kind of got, stop making so many fucking wishes. Your fear is that your wishes are never going to come true, so you just keep making them. Churning them out there, getting them out there. 
that's your fear your fear you need to face this fear you need to heal from where this fear has come from and you need to take your power back and when you make that wish make it a wish that you really fucking mean is then you will stand beautifully in your power Sagittarius so darlings your wish fulfillment your manifestation and why it may be fucked the reason you ain't getting your wish fulfillment your manifestation is because you're a closed book you're over protecting yourself you're over protecting projects that you're on you're over protecting everything about you you withholding you're withdrawing you're not you're just not you're not participating simple as and do you know what Sag that is not like you you're playful you want to come out and play you want to come out and tell everybody what you're doing you know your light bright, shines brighter than any other fire sign I know it really does because you've got that playful energy that um, energy that you, and bags of fucking energy let me tell you uh, the majority of Sagittarius I know ADHD all the way absolutely and you've got this innate need to be participating with people to be even if you're a shy person you kind of push the shyness away so that you are getting that fun feeling that's what i'm getting but your manifestation is fucking shot down and it really is you need to let go nobody manifests being overprotective they don't nobody manifests wanting to be a closed book they don't the only thing is, if you have got a project going that you do feel that you need to keep wraps on, don't manifest keeping a wraps on it. Just keep fucking wraps on it. Just, just don't tell anybody. It doesn't have to be a manifestation. But darlings, stop wishing to be closed off from something because you may be missing something really fucking good. Lecture over. So darlings, your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be, really. So you've got the star here with the fairies asking you to get into the waters to help you heal, to make that definite wish of what you want. And then you've got the Queen of Cups, much gentler energy than a king. She knows what she wants. She's very quiet about it. She kind of like just slips on in there and she says, come and step into the water let the oceans heal you let them rejuvenate you let them rest you and then notice the cup on her lap how she's holding it she's not holding it out for a reason because on your journey she's asking you to fill that cup for yourself if you fill your cup up with everything every desire that you've got knowledge wisdom intuition love joy happiness sunny days cold days autumn days spring days doesn't matter what you fill your cup up with if you fill your own cup and you know the ingredients that is in there when a cup comes towards you you will know instantly if it is going to complement or contradict what it is that you are trying to draw in to your life we fill our cups up with what we want to draw towards us and it has to complement us it can't contradict it doesn't mean that you've got to be absolutely like the, the person that's coming towards you absolutely not it would be so boring if you had the same interest and the same da -da -da and all the rest of it no that's not the idea the idea is the emotional side the emotional fulfillment and even the spiritual fulfillment that needs to be complemented and it doesn't have to be that you share the same faith or you share the same views on relationships it just means that you complement each other you do not contradict you do not take the time to put somebody else down um, you build them up you build them up they you complement them so lovelies your your journey is clear that you know you've got this healing to do and this cut and the other thing is this, this queen she doesn't like confrontation she's not a great debater she won't get into that kind of shit and she, what she does is 
she helps you recognize a diversion that she's putting in your place if you're going through some crap right now Sagittarius she will divert you away from that crap but by the same token if you're going through something wonderful right now she will wholeheartedly get you to scoop it up in your arms and hold on to it like she is that cup treasure it is treasure to her when she has got the right cup in her lap and my, again male or female we are dealing with energy so this is going to be somebody who is either cancer scorpio pisces or they have got that presence about them they emanate the elements of water signs uh, which is very loving very giving sometimes dreamy sometimes it can sting like a bastard sometimes it just wants to crawl away but very loving and very giving once they have made the decision that that's what they're going to do so lovelies some of you are going to be dealing with one of those signs Sag you are but I'm getting that although the advice you've got from this person isn't connected to this I'm I'm getting that okay okay so the person who gave you advice is not anything to do with your connection to this person here it isn't this was advice around something else that you are now having to look at and I am going to hazard a guess legal situation and I'm getting that the reason that you have felt closed off um, isn't through a personal it is a personal relationship I'm getting it's family family and that's why the healer has moved in and said don't keep chucking wishes out there go for one and stick to it but don't be don't close off don't close off because this connection is really good for you really massively good for you Sag it really is so my lovely Sagittarians what can you do about it well look lovelies this is the moon the moon has this job to do and it shines brightly when it's full and it illuminates things it illuminates truths and untruths it illuminates a pathway now whether the pathway has got a fork in the road we don't know but for the now let's just say for argument's sake it's showing you a pathway forward that is showing the, you the truth and the untruth of the fork in the road which way are you going to go which way are you going to choose because i'm telling you right now what it's asking you to do what it's asking you not to do about this situation is take in distortions if it sounds too good to be fucking true it probably is if you feel that gut feeling is telling you somebody's lying they probably are so what it's telling you is use your intuition allow the moon to illuminate the stuff that you need to deal with because it stays in shadow it stays in darkness it doesn't need to be dealt with right now it may do further down the line but right now you have something that you need to sort out and get sorted out now i am getting that for some of you because of the pull of the moon on a water sign i'm getting for some of you that there may be a pull there may be an unwanted distance between you or a coming unwanted distance between you and that's why you've got the ocean as well not just for the healing but there could be an ocean separating you or threatens to separate you so darlings what can you do about the sick no what the fuck is out your hands even sorry sag 
Uh, you've got the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is Fire Sign. That is Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. It could be somebody a lot younger than yourself. It could be you. But this is out of your hands. There is a blockage. There is a blockage of how you're thinking, how you're feeling. And it is to do with projects and plans. It is not about to be cleared right now because the universe is holding it for you. They're saying you can magically clear it, but they're not saying right now. Not right now. The blockage is there for a reason. The blockage is stopping you from making a hasty decision. Mm. So darlings, reconnecting to the true you, you completely understand that there's a shift coming. You've been feeling it for a while, Sage, you really have. Um, and this shift is, is about to move in. It's not unlucky, darlings. It is absolutely fine. Just tread that wheel of the year. Allow the, the year to roll around as it's supposed to, very naturally, very in control. Do not spin it out of control because that is when you will find trouble. And Sag, why are you feeling left out in the cold? You've got to come in away from these feelings. I kind of get that sometimes, even if you are in a really good loving relationship, that you doubt it. You've got to stop that. You've got to stop the doubt. You've got to stop trying to shove yourself on a snowy bench. You really have. Don't do it. You've got five pentacles above your head. You've got plenty of money in the bank. You know there's a warm fire there where you can warm your cockles. Don't keep putting yourself out in the cold. I'm not getting somebody else is doing that to you. I'm getting you do that to you. You burn so bright and so fierce and then all of a sudden you just want to cool down. You're like, whoa, let's cool this down. Let's cool this down. So your outcome, darling, is you've got a completion card. You've got a completion of the Ten of Wands. This is a completion of putting burdens down. And funnily enough, they're not your fucking burdens. They're somebody else's. You have gathered some lame ducks. And although it's really nice to rescue little fluffy, furry, feathered things, when it comes to people, darling, they can drain you. They're like fucking energy vampires. And you have a lot of energy to give, Sag. I mean, this ones is a fire card. It is. And because you give off of that energy, other people come in and suck it out of you. And you need to put those ones down and be very strict with people. Yes, I can help you. Yes, I can talk to you. Yes, I can walk beside you. But I am not fucking carrying these burdens for you any longer. Because I want to be up here, not down here. I need to move upwards and onwards. So, my darling Sagis, oh, we have the Queen of Pentacles, otherwise known as the Earth Mother. She sits looking over her kingdom in the knowledge that she has invested wisely in her people, in her kingdom. She has made the roots grow deep underneath the kingdom, and now she sits very regally offering out abundance to anybody who so wishes to seek it. This is your pentacles, this is your money, this is your home, this is your job. This is a really nice card to end with. If it is a person around you, they are going to be Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn or they're going to have very earth-like qualities within them. But I am guessing, male or female, I am guessing that the cards want you to know that that is the energy that they want you to head towards getting your roots firmly into the ground and being proud of your achievements and sitting and recognising that you have achieved those things. You have brought stability into your life and now you are able to offer that out to other people even though you may doubt it at times, Sag. 
so my darlings, would you believe it? The sun's come out. Have a laugh. Okay, my darlings. Let's ask the angels and ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance. The 7th to the 13th of September. Lovely, nice little pile came out there, darlings. And to kick us off with, you have the Animal Guardian. And it says, trust your instincts, Sagittarius. Yeah, it's really difficult for Sagittarians to understand their instincts because they're on the go 24-7. Their brains are dirt, 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 and this fire. They are so hyperactive that to actually follow their instincts can be really difficult. But if the cards are telling you to do that, just try to go with that gut feeling, that initial feeling. Don't let your thinking head kick in. Go with that gut feeling because it, it won't let you down, lovelies. And then you've got the Lord and he says, take charge with authority. Then you have the air guardian. Oh, no shit, Batman. Where did I pick up it? Oh, I haven't picked up air in there. Oh, yes, I did in the beginning. Shift your perception. And then you've got the elder. And this is see beyond ancestral patterns. Darlings, that's your reading. 7th to the 13th of September. Wherever you are in the world, Sagittarius, please be safe. And I will catch up with you in the next reading. Bye for now.